Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Huga themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even some home decor. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, if not twice. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have a beautiful, quarterly coastal living luxury lifestyle box to share with you. It is called Salt Water and Sand and I've been sharing it here on the channel for over a year now. She is kind enough to give me a nice discount but I do pay for this box. It is $129 per quarter plus $8.99 in shipping but if you use the code Noelle sign 10 you can save $10 and of course I'll leave all of that information for you in the description box below. So this always comes in a plain box because one of the five items that that are included is always a receptacle of some sort, a basket or a tray. We've gotten some bags in the past. One time we even got a beautiful giant shell. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this box and see what our receptacle is that's holding the other four items. That's usually how it goes. It just came in this kind of plain brown box, like I said, and there is always a nice product card that will tell us a little bit more about it. And this is what that looks like. And then on the back, it just tells us about the individual items. And and it does look like this time she has included the individual retail values so I really appreciate that I do think this would be a beautiful gift box to someone who has that kind of coastal living style or maybe a housewarming gift but of course it is something that's great for me who lives here on the coast in San Diego I grew up in Hawaii that's why I love to, to specialize in all of these beach inspired subscriptions let's go ahead and take a look at our, our bag this time is what it looks like so it's kind of made out of leather and some material and I'm kind of seeing some other things poking out from the inside. I'm not really sure. It looks like there's like snaps here on the outside, but I'm not sure if that is actually just sort of like a design or an embellishment or if it's actually something that should snap. There is this like kind of handle here, but it doesn't look like those actually line up and they aren't actually snaps. They're just kind of brads. Now it does have a pouch here on the other side. It does smell like real leather um, in some elements and then some canvas, but We'll read a little bit more about it and see what it is meant to be used for because I'm not actually seeing a strap. So I think this is actually meant to be the handle, but I do kind of like this almost like tile pattern on the material. So this is a leather and canvas drink tote is what it is. So it says clay ray bed. Clay Ray bags are designed and handcrafted using repurposed canvas and military tents, which brings a special meaning to our military family owned business. I think that's really cool to repurpose items. Bring your drinks to the beach in style and ditch the cardboard in the store when you mix and match your favorites. And this has a value of $63. I'm guessing that that is because it is a real leather that again has been repurposed. So if you're vegan, this is not the bag for you, but it is really nice because I feel like leather is very sustainable because it does last for so long. Um, so let's see how it works a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pull some of the items out. Uh, they usually have kind of their own packaging, so I won't be ruining the surprise, but I want us to be able to kind of see the inside pouches and how this drink tote would actually work. So you'd have to add this to all of your other reusable shopping bags if you are kind of stocking up for a day at the beach or just to bring home some fun things. So it is kind of neat. Some of the uh, grocery stores do let you do mix and match with your bottles or cans. So so now I'm getting a better idea of how this works. So this is the handle, like I was saying, and this part is made out of leather. And then when you open it up, it's almost like a gardening bag or a tool bag. So you can see that there are three compartments going down the side. They would open up a little bit more to actually hold a bottle. And then there's kind of this open pouch here on the outside. And then it looks like the design is pretty much the same here on this side. So you get these three compartments and then you get this one bigger compartment. So you can kind of see how wide it is. It looks like it's just going to fit those six bottles and then maybe something flat would fit fit there in the outside pockets um, or of course if you wanted to have you know three bottles and maybe a bottle of wine might fit in that outside pouch without any of the smaller bottles in the smaller compartments so I do think that's kind of cool I kind of wish that it did have the option like if they had just shaped this slightly different where I could snap one of the compartments closed if I wanted to using those little snaps that are there but they are just kind of decorative um, it doesn't say anything it does say do not wash again because it is made out of leather but it does seem pretty 
pretty sturdy and I do think like I said you could definitely use it for like your gardening tools maybe outside would be kind of cute too to have all your like shears and your your gloves and what have you because I'm not sure how often I would actually use this I do like to have like a shoulder strap when it comes to all of my grocery bags but again I do love the idea of them repurposing the leather and canvas from tents etc so let's go ahead and take a look at one of the other items now the biggest item that was actually put into one of those little bottle containers is all bubble wrap and there's usually an edible item of some sort in this box whether it's a drink mix or we've gotten some delicious shortbread cookies in the past there's usually a jewelry piece so it's a really nice kind of well-balanced lifestyle box so this time ooh, this looks really good so it's by earth and vine provisions and it is a mango tequila jalapeno grilling and dipping sauce and we got this nice kind of full-size bottle but it just looks good like the color of it looks inviting to me so let's see what it says about this uh it says this is a grilling dipping salad sauce is what it says but i don't know that i would use this on my salad it looks, seems like something that would make a really good marinade for example cool and spicy this tropical sauce is great over fish tacos that sounds good if you like a little fruit on your fish tacos or chicken tostadas brush on prawns and pineapple kebabs grilled fish chicken or pork toss into a jicama avocado and red onion salad those are like out of those three things, Hickam is the only one I actually like. Uh, dip corn chips or sourdough bread mix into your favorite salsa. This has a value of $9. That seems about right to me if you were going into like a gourmet shop and trying to pick up some fun salsas to kind of add some pizzazz to your barbecue that's coming up. So. I do think that that would be really good uh, on chicken or like they suggested maybe if you were doing some fish tacos I have to get a little bit more creative I'm very basic when it comes to my fish tacos um, but that's a great item I think that's nice and I can always re-gift that to someone else if I am going maybe to a barbecue or a potluck or something uh, like they suggested you can even just dip plain bread in it it might be delicious so I like that it's got a little bit of a kick too with the jalapeno probably not too spicy because it does have that mango in there to kind of temper it so let's go ahead and look at the other stuff that was nestled inside of our drink tote so we have one thing that's wrapped up in tissue and then we have two that are in their own kind of branded pouches so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the tissue item to find out what's in here so this is in a little box let's see it says deco Miami so it looks like the really cool little box it's kind of a triangle shape and I think that it's a cuticle oil so let me go ahead and see if I can get into this so yes this is a coconut cuticle oil deco Miami's cuticle oil formula is an ultra nourishing blend of vitamins and moisturizing organic oils that help to keep your cuticles feeling soft and healthy apply just a couple of drops a little goes a long way it is vegan and cruelty free which is good to know although obviously the box itself is not vegan and cruelty free so I'm gonna go ahead and open it from the bottom so that I can actually get the little bottle out this has a value of $12 so it's just a little cuticle oil we've been getting so many cuticle oils in different subscription boxes which is fine if you don't get a ton of subscription boxes like I do but cuticle oil is a great thing to have on hand I always kind of like to have it right by the television because it's something you can kind of mindlessly do to sort of add to your nail health so cute little bottle I think that's nice uh, let's go ahead and see what our other items are so this says on it sterling brook so that is the pouch I'm guessing this might be the uh, bartender's tool sounds good to me so I definitely my bar is kind of in my hutch it's a very limited amount of space because I have a small house but I definitely have the full setup for a, a bar one of these days so this is the coastal bartender's tool oh my gosh this is so cute you guys because it's shaped like a little fish I guess he goes this way so that that looks like his little eye you can see his little like mouth and everything I love the wood scales here so all kinds of different tools in here you can obviously see the uh, corkscrew and a bottle opener and I think on this side it's got a like a little knife a little blade I want to be careful with that oh I'm not really sure what you use this kind of little hook for interesting so that's kind of cool and this I think is even the kind where you can use it to like kind of puncture cans of juice if you have that so I think this is so cute I have a lot of little different bottle openers but it's always nice to have like one that you can just have in your pocket if you do want to take it somewhere else um, and then hopefully it makes its way back home I do have kind of a tropical tiki bar kind of thing going on with my bar accessories so this will definitely go with it says perfect for the beach boat or dinner party a woman-owned business Sterling Brook built this opener with heavy-duty stainless steel and naturally water resistant white oak so that's what those little scales are it features a two-step corkscrew bottle opener and foil cutter and knife ah there's a foil cutter that's really cool that 
that's what that kind of curve is to it so that you can use it to open up your nice chilled bottles of wine. So this is actually really cool. It says that it has a value of $44. That's one of those things where I probably wouldn't personally purchase it for myself, but it would make a fantastic gift for someone else, a housewarming party. If you were just going to a party in general and you wanted to give this to the hostess, I'm sure that she would definitely appreciate it. Or you can add it to your own collection like I am probably going to do. And then finally, we have one more item, and I believe it is our jewelry piece, and it came in this little bag that says Cecilia, which is a great name. Sounds pretty to me. So it's a gold triple wrap bracelet. Now, I don't wear a lot of wrap bracelets, but let me show you what it looks like. It looks like you could almost wear it as a necklace, but I don't see that there's actually an opening where you could get it on over your head. I could probably like squish it on over my head, but it's interesting that there are these little square beads. You can kind of see they're almost like pearlescent, and then there are these kind of curved longer beads or rods, and I guess that's probably to help it like work on your wrist a little bit better. I'm not really sure. So it's says handmade with check glass beads that look like perfect little seashells to start your trendy bracelet stack or to layer with your necklaces. Also a woman owned business, Cecilia Designs plants a tree for every purchase, helping our beloved ocean. So I love items that have a little give back story to it. So this is what it looks like. There is a little bit of stretch inside. So I was able to put it on my wrist three times. And then of course those curved beads kind of work a little bit better so that it actually kind of has the right shape for your wrist. I think that's really neat. There is a little like gold uh, tag on there. So I've never seen a wrap bracelet quite like this. I've always seen them like made out of cord or leather. And so I was really happy that it was more like this because I will definitely use it a lot more. And I love how nicely it fits and I didn't have to worry about a closure or trying to make it make the adjuster work. And like I said, it does have a value of $36. So I think that's actually pretty well priced uh, with the check glass beads. So let's just go over everything that we got and kind of total everything up. We got are a leather and canvas drink tote which is uh, made out of recycled uh, materials which I think is awesome we got our coconut cuticle oil which I'm sure smells nice and of course is something nice to have around we got our coastal bartenders tool which is this adorable little fish from a woman-owned business which I think is awesome we got our mango tequila jalapeno dipping sauce or marinade is probably how I will use it and finally our gold and check glass bracelet from another woman-owned business. So let's kind of total everything up. It looks like we've got a value of at least the cost of the box. It's looking like closer to, let's see, there's a hundred right there. There's another 120 and then plus another like 36. So we're looking at about $160 for the value. Again, this is a small business. They're not necessarily going to be giving you like three times the cost of the box, but you are definitely getting your money's worth. You're definitely getting a nice deal on some kind of luxury items that you might not personally purchase for yourself, but they're so lovely to receive in a beautiful subscription box like this. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this salt water and sand and what your favorite item was. I I'm gonna go with probably the bartender tool just because I think it's so cute and also so useful to have and I always always love the jewelry item from salt water and sand I hope you enjoyed this video if you appreciated it please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing